So we often would like to get our data from places other than the user. And in order to do this, we have to be able to access what are called data files. And the most simple kind of data file that we can access with Python is something called a text file. A text file is nothing more than a collection of characters that is organized into lines and the easiest way to create a text file is just by using a simple text editor. So for example, if we are in idle and we open a new window to write a program, we have really opened up a simple text editing window. And all we do at this point is simply type text and normally that text is a Python program but it could be anything. So for example, let's say that we wanted to store data about the average temperatures in the summer months here in Iowa. So for example I could say in May the average temperature is 60 degrees and then I'll hit a return. In June the average temperature is 68 degrees. In July the average temperature is 74 degrees and in August the average temperature is 71 degrees. Now what I've been doing is simply typing at the keyboard and hitting returns and adding characters to this window just as I normally do when I write programs. And now if I just save this file as let's say uh, temps.txt. We'll use a txt extension to refer to a text file. Then what I've done is basically create a very simple data file. Now, if we want to look at sort of the details of how we created this file, we could think about the fact that as we were typing, what we were really doing was creating a sequence of characters. And so, for example, if I think about how I was entering this data, my keystrokes were basically M, A, y, a space, a six, a zero, and then I hit a carriage return. And then I hit a j, and then a u, and then an n, and then an e, followed by a space, followed by a six, followed by an eight, followed by another carriage return, and so on. The idea is that a text file is really nothing more than a sequence of characters where every once in a while we have these carriage returns that appear. And if we look over in the actual file, those carriage returns show up in a sense as a move to a new line. So when we start to talk about what is a text file, it's really nothing more than a sequence of characters where every once in a while there are these new lines which cause us to go down to the next line and all the way back to the left. And we simply type from left to right, top down, until we are all done. So a text file is really a very simple way to store characters. The question becomes, what can we do with a text file? And the answer is, in a programming language like Python, we can access this file and then read in that data for further processing.